I'm telling you right now, I did nothing wrong. A lot of these industry people are too cookie cutter and too, you know, kiss kisses they ass. And they're just too like cheesy when it comes to like being uh, political correct. And they don't want you to joke around and stuff like that. Let's talk about it. Welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click that bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and you click the bell. Come on, y'all. Patreon.com forward slash JOA, JOA. I really do appreciate your $5 um, minimum support on a monthly basis. It's a latte at Starbucks. You know, I'm sure you can give up one latte a month at Starbucks, your little coffee chain, your donut shop, whatever for JOA. Come on now. I know you like me. I know you like me. Let's get to the video. So Yvette Nicole Brown is someone that I grew up watching um, from Drake and Josh. I know Helen. Y'all know Helen from Drake and Josh, y'all. I'll plug in your five yeah. Make a pack. <laughs> you leave this boy alone. Isn't it bad enough that he humiliated and degraded himself on the television? <laughs> Thank you, Helen. <laughs> You're welcome, Twitchy. Hey. Did you hate me? You better get back to work. And so last night is just like I was up. Like I was up at four in the morning, three something in the morning. And so she quote tweeted something on Twitter and a quote tweet was about a Leo, you know, the horoscope because she's a Leo apparently. And it says the ability to cut people off like they have never met them is so good that it is scary. OK, and baby, she cut me off. All right. And she goes, I mean, that's only because we are great friends and super loyal. If you do us wrong, there's nothing to work on or repair on our end. We're already given our call. There's nothing left to give, friend. Now we're strangers, boo. I mean, that's just like that horoscope thing. I mean, a little astrology sign. That's for everybody. That's with Scorpios as well. It's like, I mean, it's that's why I feel like these astrological things are too extra. Like, it's like it's it applies to every fucking human being. It applies to me. Like, I don't. Even with family, like, I don't like, I'm not about, like, especially, like, if you did something really wrong, I'm not about to, like, form a relationship with you, all right? So then, you know, me, my messy self, I was like, go to bed. And I truly was just, like, you know, joking with her and stuff like that. And she goes, I'm in Ireland. It's 10 a.m. here. What's your suggestion now? And then I go, rich people problems. Have some breakfast if you haven't already. Then she says, being awake in the morning is rich people problems. Hashtag houseway. Being awake isn't a problem and lucidity is free. Maybe you should take a nap and get your mind together. And then I said, no. <laughs> Going to Ireland is rich people problems. Calm down, Helen. I'm uh, I'm playing around with you. It's 4 a.m. here in New Orleans. Why are you in Ireland? And y'all, like, I really was playing around with her because she was on the Tamron Hall show uh, like two days ago, and I even replied to Tamron Hall show, and I was like, oh, like Helen, my mother, you know, from Dragon Josh, and she liked the tweet, and you know, the Tamron Hall even uh, participated in the tweet as well. So then here she goes. She goes a few things. My name is Yvette. Helen is a character on a TV show. You come off rude via tweet. You may not know that. You should know that. Telling a grown woman to calm down is condescending. I don't need errant temperament advice from a stranger. We good? Question mark. <laughs> Baby, my response was to drop the mic response because she blocked me after that and she know that I'm right. I said, save that energy towards Megan McCain, not a minority. Instead of honoring her, tell her about her prejudiced ways. Don't be a kiss up towards her. I was being funny with you, calling you Helen. I did the same thing on the Tamron Hall show page and you liked the tweets. So she's one of those celebrities that want to get along with everybody that cares about what people think in, in the celebrity realm about her. She knows Megan McCain is a McCarran, like she's prejudiced, um, but yet, oh, which I could, okay, 
when Megan McCain's father died and she appeared on a view after the eulogy, she gave Megan McCain a hug. He said, John McCain is passing the torch towards her and stuff like that. Baby, Megan McCain is not a Malala Yousafzai. Megan McCain is not a Nobel Peace Prize fa- uh, uh, winner. Okay, she did not do anything of no nobility or of value to the world for her to even have the torch from her nepotism also father john mccain so i truly was being nice to her and i was trying to form some type of okay this is going a south direction you know let me tell her like hey like i'm then nah but she kept going so i'm like you know what you want to bring astrology in this bitch well bitch i'm a fucking scorpio okay and so i'm gonna sting you so hard with 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 my commentary that is going to make you feel offended and you're not going to come back from it and that's what I did. And I don't got time for these dumbass celebrities, fake ass celebrities, which I sent a community page. You know, I didn't call her a fake actress. I called her a fake celebrity because she is she's for the industry. All right. She's for the industry. Is either you're for the industry or you're not. Is either you're a Wendy Williams or you're a fucking Ellen DeGeneres. OK, she's on the Ellen DeGeneres side. And, you know, there's always a stereotype about Palestinians, about Arabs in general. And I I felt that maybe she saw my bio. Maybe she thought, okay, well, he's Palestinian. He's treating women wrong and stuff like that. Let me let me correct him. And, and, you know, you know, there's a stereotype, you know, not with just white people, with black people, other races that Middle Easterns are are controlling towards women and they demean women. You know, there's that's a big ass stereotype that happens in the. Middle Eastern community. But anyways, forget her, fuck her. I don't really don't give a damn. Um, you know, I told you it goes down on Twitter. Let me know what's thing in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, baby, and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Deuces. Yay.